Hey, so you have just completed your video. You have utilized Zoom. You've done a variety of opportunities of things we talked about. Now, how do I find that recorded video that I reported recorded to the cloud? And how do I share that with Phil? So here we go, folks. Uh, along the edge on the left-hand corner, you'll see that uh, just previously, uh, Bruce took us through a great tutorial about the variety of settings that um, you could make and obviously you've applied a lot of those just above the settings icon I want you to click on record records how about <laughs> recording so you'll find your latest recording and in my case I've got a few webinars and daily products that you've pushed out uh, over time in this case uh, you'll see the date and the time coded it's most likely it's going to be your your latest one that you have recorded will be right up on top so what we found that really worked out the easiest quickest way to share me this link so we can put it together and make a video for friday to push out to our students and our community is if you just click on um, the file size there's a variety of ways of doing this but i prefer you just click on the file size in this case, there's a, a webinar that I did in two parts. So um, probably not the best example, but at least it gives you an idea. So what you'll see, you'll just see one frame here. Um, Q's webinar, uh, latest one actually I, I did just a while ago. And you'll see the share button in the upper right hand corner. Click on the share button and you'll see that um, this is going to be Actually, really, we don't want to toggle over any other switches other than the fact just leave it at its default settings. And in this case, just ask you to copy the clipboard, copied it, and then I'm going to ask you to paste this in an email. So I just ask you to go over to your email, click on Composed, uh, click on uh, your message. Uh, my Mac, I'm kind of Command V, pasting it, and there you go. Um, you'll also see before you send it, if you want to just highlight the URL, like I have there and just click on the insert link it automatically does that I appreciate if you do that so make it a lot easier for me to find it uh, just one less step for me um, top pop in PQ should find me and just uh, give me a subject um, you know my zoom message send and there you go as quick as that so just like you to once again go back to your recordings. Let's just repeat review real quickly. Recordings. Um, click on. Uh, there's a lot of options, but we found this better. I like clicking on the shared. Um, let me go back and show that one more time if I can. Just think it's important to click on the file size. I, I know you could say just share it over, but um, I really want to make sure that it has this icon. I, I guess there's multiple ways of doing it, but uh, I like this option because we can look over here to double check. And I like this one because it can double check to make sure that is your recording. In this case, got the time code. Sometimes I want to double check. Maybe I did a 15 second one that didn't work out. I took a second take. So it allows me also to do a quick preview if I want um, to listen to if that's oh, come my on, message. a little louder, David. Got to hear you, man. <laughs> all right. Good to see you guys. Hey, let's all do it. Let's all turn it right about. There you go. So it allows me to kind of do a quick preview. Make sure that is the message I want to share with me. Click on share button. There you go. Copy, click, and once again, go over to and send me an email. That's it. So I hope this tutorial is very helpful. Once again, the recording settings, how to go grab a recorded message, a recorded Zoom, and maybe we'll talk later in other uh, webinars and how I could take this and maybe upload it on YouTube or if you want to put it on a Trello card. You can even embed it on a card if we wanted to archive some of our messages. So there's a whole list of ways we could use these. Um, in our most of our cases, the pro version, I think we get up to, uh, boy, I'm not quite sure, but we can house quite a few. And one final note, you'll always get some type of um, notification uh, in your emails that your query is full or you've exceeded your uh, recordings and we can go into that later but allow you an opportunity to delete to, to clear them out a little bit so hope this has been helpful so looking forward to seeing your messages thank you